What's going on guys? Sean back here with another video. And today we're, we're continuing our series on Gwinnett County parks. I think we did about four or five right now. And, um, just to let you know, while we're doing this, we're also testing the beta application for drone link, right? I have a DJI mini three pro and the Maven application for drone link. It is in beta. So we need to test it out. So I'm just doing parks around here to see how many times it crashed. And this would be a good uh, way to provide some data back to drone link as well. So today, um, the park I want to look at, it is called Alexander Park. It is in Sn Lawrenceville, Georgia. So let's see it. So as you can see, um, we're looking at it here in drone link. And you can see it's a fairly large park. Um, it doesn't look like this. some of the stuff. This is an old map. I, I, I can just tell from um, what drone link uses is pretty old, old maps, right? Because they have more things here, but pretty large park. Don't know if I'm going to map it all, but we can just try it and see how long it takes. I may have to go, I may just go a little higher to see, because I don't want to be here for a long time, especially with all the crashes. But this park has a lot of things here. This, this part is not of the park, but as you can see, it's a fairly large park and we can get in the park this way too. It has a place to get in here and drive through. I think I will start it here. So let's go ahead and just do a new map. Let's create, um, we're going to do a map. And that's all I've been doing right now in the, the, the drone link. So let's see, we're going to go here, start off our mapping mission. Let's zoom out, zoom out and let's go ahead and expand it. Right. Let's put some boxes here, put some boxes here. Let's just see how long it takes to do the entire park. If it's over 20 minutes, we're not going to do it because it's going to take entirely too long. All right. So what we're doing here is just adding more waypoints. Um, Trying to get our map down. That is not part of the, the, the park. This is part of the park. As you can see here, we just go along this way. As you can see, we have most of the park here. Like, I don't, like, this is like a walking trail. I really don't need to get all of that. We can bring it in a little bit here. Um, let's name it. This is Alexander Park. Takeoff restriction, no takeoff, action on fin. We don't want to return home. So what I do is just put none. So just hover there, right? So motion limit, speed limit max. I want to do 20. Because we need to we we need to get to the point. It takes a uh it takes a while sometimes to get there. Rotation rate. All this we always keep the same, right? So we have this, don't have anything here, go done. We have our map here. Let's see how long this is. Because I haven't even put the feet. 20 minutes at 285 feet. I mean, that is not bad. How many photos is going to give us? Let's see. 291 photos. Not bad. But let's actually go into the map. Um, if we do, let's see, it do 300 feet. Let's see what it gives us here. So we go to 300 feet. Let's see. It's calculating. Still 20 minutes, 291. Ah, same. Uh, no difference. So we'll come down back to 285. And I'll let you know if we're actually going to do this, right? I may just keep it at 70, 70. Um, capture mode photo, single photo, focus mode. Like we can change the focus modes. Like, that is fine. Speed, max 20. Um, anything else we need to do? We're going to keep it at 90. Because not a lot of structures around here. So we'll just keep this at 90. Um, let's see. Anything else? No, that's really it. So this is really how simple it is, guys, to create a simple map in Droneling. That's why I like the program so much. I'm trying to try Map Pilot Pro, but I don't think it's compatible because every time I, I, I downloaded the APK and it's not letting me, it's not letting me um, uh, select my the right drone. Let's do grid and see what it does. Look at this grid. This probably is going to be crazy. Look at that. So let's go here and look at this map and mission for grid. Let's see. Probably be 40 minutes. 40 minutes, 582 photos going to go what, nine miles. We're not going to do that. Let's go back here. I think we get just enough. This is not for, I'm not getting paid. This is not for anything um, substantial. This is just for fun, right? So there's four miles and I may even like bring this in some, like, let's look and see if I even, let's go to done. Let's look and see if I even want to bring it in any more of this. If we zoom in some, um, do I care about that? No, no, no. Do we really need all of these? Like we got most of it here of the part. We don't need the entire parking lot. This part doesn't have a lot of things, but this one 20 minute mission, the only thing I'm concerned about, like, let's see where the start of the mission at right there. Okay. Let's go 
start right there, but then it's going to shift all the way over to go here. That's the only thing about these long missions is that if it's 20 minutes, it's actually going to take about 30, 35 minutes. Um, so I, have to, I may have to bring you back in to uh, change the battery and then go back up. But I plan on going early in the morning, earlier than I usually do. So I think this will work. So stay tuned for the next part of the video. We're going to actually go out and fly the drone on this park. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. If you have any other parts you would like for me to film, please put them in the comments below. Peace. All right, guys, we are at Alexander Park. We're about to go ahead and fly our longest mission to date on the Drone Leap Beta app. Um, so let's see how it goes. So go ahead and get everything together. We are ready to go. So here we go. And I do want to, I'm going to adjust my camera once I get up there into the air. We're going to adjust our camera. And I thought this battery should have been full. So we're going to go ahead and get up to, to speed and then we will adjust our camera. So let's get up to speed. Then we will run our mission. This is a nice park too, guys. Okay, we are up to speed. Let's tilt our camera down some. And let's see. Okay, so we have our ISO at 100, white balance manual. Uh, let's increase our set of speed a little bit. Let's go to 240. Let's go to 320. I think 240 is good. Okay, let's get ready to run our mission. So now we think we have pretty good shutter speed. I don't even think that f-stop is correct because I don't think you can change the f-stop on um, this 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 drone. So let's go here. We're going to do Alexander Park. And let's see how long this takes, guys, because this is my longest one to date. And I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of this. Say we have 40 minutes of battery. And I'm probably, more than likely, I'm going to fast forward most of this once it loads because it's a long one. And we're close to our starting line, too. All righty. So let's let's go three two one starting mission Three, two, one, starting mission.
Mission stopped. All right, guys, so here I'm pausing because I'm running out of battery. I'm running out of battery, so I want to go ahead and just land it and change my battery. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm about to change battery, and then we'll resume the flight. All right. I don't know why it reads 94. It actually should be 100. I charged them all to 100. But we'll go ahead and begin our flight, and we will and we will continue to um, finish this mission. Actually, taking a long, long time, and you guys can kind of see how long it takes to do a 20-minute mission. It's going to be actually double. So let's get this back up, and let's resume our mission, guys. Complete. Great. Mission accomplished. Finish the mission. All right, guys, I'm back right now, and we're going to do the maps made easy portion of the video. So as you can see here, we are loaded into the dashboard of maps made easy. I am not going to show you how to load the files. You can look at my previous five or six videos, and that'll show you exactly how to load the files into maps made easy. Um, one, one other note, I am on the subscription plan. It's $5 a month, and that gives you two gigapixels. Um, and some other perks too. So, but what I want to show you is that I've, I've loaded the last map that we just did was a uh, Alexander park and I also have the integration with box. So what I want to do is I want to go and just show you my box location. So what happens is that it loads it right to all files in your box. I didn't make this. This came directly from maps made easy. And as you can see, it names it, uh, Alexander park and it puts the date and this is like European format, um, too. So if you click on it, it has all of the files already in here for us. So as you can see, some of the DIMMs in here, the color, uh, JPEG of it, the TIFF. We have the, like I said, this DIMM right here. We have the actual JPEG. Um, we have all of the files that I that specified. They're all loaded here as well. So you don't have to worry about going back into Maps Made Easy and making sure you uh, download them, right? They'll be automatically downloaded for you, uh, making sure you have the space inside of your box account. So, But we're going to look at it here because I do, I do like looking at it on the program as well. So if we go here, we click into Alexander Park, um, and it does put a nice, a nice, as you can see here, a nice uh, overlay on top of uh, whatever mapping program that they use. Um, I'm trying to figure out what mapping program. I have to look it up a little bit more. But as you can see, you see I took like 260, 270 photos, and look at the area that I map. It looks so much better than before. So if, like we didn't have it on here before, this looks so much better. So. Uh, if we zoom in, let's see the elevation because it should be this is this is 100 percent resolution. So look how far we can go down into this little to this playground area. We can see the cars. We can see the grass. Um, like this is an outstanding, outstanding map. Like look at this. And it, and it actually shows you the seasons. Right. So you can see what season we're in now. Um, have a dark dog park over here. Um, really big part. Really, really big part is the biggest map I had to do. But if you look at it, I got the lake. We can zoom into the lake and you can see all of that information. So look, look how much information I did. And it took about, it says a 20 minute mission, it took about 40 minutes. So that comes with it, um, with this um, drone link application. But we can see more of the details here. We can see some of the elevation on the layer view. Uh, it tells you how long it took. So it started, it upload, I uploaded it on July 7th at 6.13. It actually started on, in three minutes. And then it finished in about, what, an hour, and almost two hours, so a little bit under two hours. It finished. I'm just looking at it. Um, it shows you I did 96 acres. That is my largest map to date, guys. Um, 96 acres is pretty huge. Um, if you look at where I can embed it into my website if I want to. Uh, we can see the overlay report. Uh, of course, you're going to have more in the middle. Um, I did 287 images. Like I said, my largest to date. We can look at all of the GeoTIFFs, full resolution, JPEG. Uh, let me just download it and look at that really quick. And then we can, um, let me take this off. And then we can look at that as well. 
And if you look at this, this is great. Look at look at that resolution, guys. Like look at that resolution. That is that is excellent. And then if we go zoom in a little bit, scroll around. Like this is really good. This is a really good quality map. Like that did an outstanding job. Okay. Um, you can look at that. Once again, I can put it into Google Earth. I may do that. I may also do the point cloud too. Um, like this video, comment if you want me to do some instructions on how to load it into Google Earth, how to uh, do point clouds. Um, just let me know and I'll, I'll work on that next. What I do want to look at is here. I want to look at the private 3D preview. So it should be a re low resolution preview um, here. So we're going to look at this. Yes, once again, you see low resolution preview. And just look at it. Okay, give it one second to load. And it loads in Google Chrome. That's what I use 99% of the time. Um, and you can tell it's low resolution, right? So now let's look at let's look at the elevation. Look at that. That is really cool, guys. Really cool. Glad this application does this for you. Got to look at that. Let's zoom in some. Let's go around here. Let's go around to this part of the park. And we zoom in a little bit. Like, look at that. Really, really cool. And that's basically, I mean, I would say that's basically it of the application. And you can load it to websites, give it to different clients if you so desire. But just getting back to drone link and the beta application that I'm using, um, I know some people have commented on my last video and said that it was crazy. I'm, I'm wondering what you guys are going to say on this one because it's going to have a lot of fails. And I had to, to bring the drone down and put a fresh battery in and bring it back up. So once again, as I say every time, is I wouldn't use it for client work. Um, if it's a small client, maybe a house or so, if you have to do like a small property or a small house, yeah, you probably, you can you can get away with it. But if it is a something like this, it took a while. And then not that much. But just be wary of the number of crashes that you're going to have. And it hasn't been that many updates lately. I think DJI is coming out with a new update to the SDK. And then Drone Leak is going to incorporate that in their next update. So keep that in mind. Once they do have a new update, I will release a video on that as well. But those are just some of my uh, observations of that application of Drone, of, of drone Link. It's, it's really good. It is that DJI just came out with a new SDK. Maps made easy. I really like the application. I think it's pretty affordable. Um, as long as you don't go overboard and do a map every day. Uh, right now, I'm doing one map a week. Um, I think I have seven, two, seven, two gigapixel maps included in my plan. So, I mean, I don't see me going over more than that. But, um, but yeah, so, yeah, that is that is the comments. If you have any questions, any, any more comments, or if you have any recommendations on next videos, what to map, if you want to see some other flyovers, I plan to put those out there as well. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.